Okay, once Flash is loaded, let's come over to File, New, and we're going to choose a new Flash file, ActionScript 3. Click OK. So by default, Flash does a couple of things. It creates a stage size, for example, at 550 by 400, frame rate of 24 frames per second. So what we're going to do at this point, before we change anything else inside of Flash, is we're going to switch out to the operating system, grab the moviepromo.ai, and drag and drop it directly into the Flash stage. This is going to bring up the Flash import dialog box. So this dialog box will come up and look exactly the same for both native Illustrator and Photoshop files. And we can do the same sort of process in either one of those file formats. So as I mentioned before, inside of Flash, we can only animate things that are wrapped up in a symbol. And symbols are either graphic symbols, button symbols, or movie clip symbols. So what we see here is all of the artwork inside of the Illustrator file being represented in this import dialog box. And what I can do is I can select any of these layers, logo, theaters, actress, for example. I'll select logo, and I'm going to come over here to the right-hand side and check the box that says create a movie clip out of this. So in addition to converting all of the artwork from Illustrator format or Photoshop format into Flash, it's also going to wrap all of that information into a movie clip so that I don't have to create any of that inside of Flash. All this work will be done for me. Theaters, I'm going to wrap that into a movie clip. Also notice the in theaters this summer is coming in as a live text layer. I could decide to change this to bitmap or vector outlines, or if I leave it editable text, I can actually go in and change this text inside of Flash. Actress, movie clip, and background, create a movie clip. So basically I'm going to get four movie clips, and these are the four things I'm going to animate inside of my Flash movie. In the lower left, we have a few choices on how we want to bring this artwork in. Flash layers will create a Flash file that will look just like our Illustrator file. All of the different pieces of artwork are going to be put on individual layers inside of Flash. We could decide to do keyframes where every layer inside of Illustrator would be placed along the timeline in Flash. And my favorite feature is this one down here, which is the set the artboard automatically. So Flash doesn't give you the choice of creating the artboard size until after you've made a new Flash file. Illustrator will tell Flash to reset the artboard size to exactly the size we had set up in Illustrator. So at this point, I'm going to click OK. Now that we're inside of Flash, we can see in the upper left-hand corner of the timeline, these are all of the different layers. And inside of Flash, layers show up along the timeline because we're going to actually animate these over time. And in the bottom area here is the stage. 